Good morning, students. Welcome to online class. In today's session, we have discussed Kama Sutra. How to apply Kama Sutra? In this session, we have to learn properties of Kama Sutra, or we can say number of solution of a system of linear equations. So, how to determine number of solution of a linear equation or it is possible to solve or not so in this session we have to discuss some properties or we can say number of solution of a system of linear equation so there are two types of system or system means if in previous session we have if it having two variable that contains two number of equation if it contains three number of variables then it is called three number of equation okay so here there are two types of system first is non homogeneous and second is homogeneous so why we say it is a non homogeneous or homogeneous here it is a system you can see it is a system here it contains three variables that is x y and z so it contains three number of equation so in the non homogeneous category it is a system of non homogeneous linear equation because in the constant the term the values of constant are non zero but here if constant all are zero then this system is called homogeneous so it is a non homogeneous category and that is the homogeneous category okay now we have to find the number of solution of a system it is called a system and it is also an other system okay so first we have to define non homogeneous category okay first if it is a system of non homogeneous linear equation first case one if we found the value of delta in previous session how to find delta delta means determinant of the coefficient of the variables okay so here if del if we find the value of del is not equal to zero the del is not equal to zero then the system then the system has unique solution unique solution means you can say one solution so if del is not equal to zero then the system has unique solution that means one solution next case two if del is equal to zero and del x is also in zero del y and del z all are zero if the all the values of del del x del y and del z is zero then the system has then the system has infinitely many solution infinitely many solution means infinity number of solution you can say Infinity number of solution, okay? Or we can say it is a consistent. Infinitely many solution means we can say in other words consistent solution. In consistent cases, del, del x, del y, del z all are zero. And the next case three, if del is equal to zero, and at least one of del x del y or del z each non zero then the system has no solution so Discuss once again 
it is a system of non homogeneous because all the constant non zero elements first we have to find if del is not equal to zero if first we have to find del first del if del is not zero not equal to zero that means we cannot find the value of other that means del x del y and del z if del is not equal to zero that means this system has unique solution you can write directly j has one solution okay if del del x del y del z and all elements are zero then the system has infinitely many solution or you can say infinite number of solution in other words we can say consistent solution okay s3 if del is equal to zero but at least one of del x or del y or del z or all these are non zero that means at least one of them is non zero then this system has no solution in other words we can say inconsistent so these are the three cases in non homogeneous category okay now discuss the homogeneous category as you know all the constant part on the right hand side are zero all are zero so it is a system of homogeneous equation now here only two cases so if case one first if del is not equal to zero if del is not equal to zero then the system has then the system has unique solution unique solution means one solution or we can say unique solution or one solution or you can write that in the number 1 okay next case 2 if del is equal to zero if we can determine the other elements that mean del x del y del we cannot define because it is all the con constant part is zero so we can if you find the value of del x del y del z that the holes are zero so we cannot find the value of del x del y and del z so in this case in the category of homogeneous you have to find only two expression that means if del is equal to zero or del is not equal to zero if del is equal to zero then the system as we have infinite number of solution infinite number of solution or we can say infinity that means infinite number of solutions here so in homogeneous category we have to calculate only two expression that means del it depend on only del if del is equal to 0 and del not equal to 0 if del is not equal to 0 then the system has unique solution if del equal to 0 then it has infinite number of solution so this is the cases of number of solution of a system of linear equation and it categorized categorized two form that is non homogeneous and homogeneous first you have to choose it is non homogeneous or homogeneous if non homogeneous then which cases it follows if s1 then it has unique solution if it follows s2 then you can say finite solution if follows third cases then you can write directly no solution or you can say zero solution okay if we choose it is a homogeneous category then first del we have to find del if del is equal to 0 then infinite number of solution if del is not equal to 0 then this is the has unique solution unique solution means one solution so here we have to take some examples here Here, we take easily 
it is non homogeneous and it is a homogeneous ok now take some examples here examples find the number of solution find the number of solution of x minus 3y is equal to 5 solution so what is the number of solution of x minus 3y is equal to 5 first we have to choose it is a system or not is it a system not it is a system because it contains two variables two variables here will have mostly two equations but it have not two equations so it is not a system ok if we put the value of x then you get the value of y if you put the another value of x then you get the value of y so there are so many solutions here so its answer is it has infinite number of solutions in here we cannot apply homogeneous or non homogeneous because it is a not a system here so in general you can say it is a non infinite number of solutions or infinite in right direction ok now take another examples this is example number 1 now we write another examples write the number of solution of x minus y is equal to 5 and 2x minus 2y is equal to 10 x minus y is equal to 5 and 2x minus 2y is equal to 10 so what is the number of solution of these questions First we have to choose it is non-homogeneous category or homogeneous category. As you know, it is a non-homogeneous or homogeneous? It is a non-homogeneous category because all the constants are non-zero. So it is a non-homogeneous category. Non-homogeneous category means the left side of this formula. Okay. So here, first we have to choose del first. Okay. First we will find value of del. So here del is, as you know, if I want to find the value of del, del means we have to write the coefficient of the variables that is 1 minus 1, 2 minus 2, that is minus 2 plus 2, that is equal to 0. So here del is equal to 0. Can you define which properties or which cases are applied? Here del is not equal. So case 1 is not applied this expression of formula. Okay. So here del is 0 and it also del equal to 0. So we cannot define case 2 or case 3 because in case 2 it del is equal to 0 and it also case 3 is also del equal to 0. So next we have to find the value of del x. So here del x is how to find del x? Del x means we have to deleting the values of x and replacing the constant term. So here 5, 10 minus 1 minus 2 that is minus 10 minus 1 minus 2 that is plus 10 and it also is 0 so here del is 0 del x is also 0 can you define case 2 or case 3 you cannot define case 2 or case 3 because del x is equal to 0 but here at least one of we do not define del y is 0 or not so we have to find the another value so del y is so here del y 1 2 deleting the y expression that is 5 10 10 minus 10 that is 0 so here you can see all these are 0 so you can see it is the form of case 2 because in case 2 all are 0 so it has infinite solution so you can say alright it has infinite number of solutions. So in this questions we have to find we have to find infinite number of solutions. Now take another examples. 
find the, well you can say it is an example of three. Example number three, find the number of solution of 2x plus y is equal to 8 and 6x plus 3y is equal to 4, suppose. So, you have to find the number of solution of this system, okay? So here, first we have to categorize it is a non-homogeneous or a homogeneous. As you see, it is a non-zero elements of the constant part, so it is a non-homogeneous category. So in non-homogeneous category, first we have to find del, only del, okay? First del, so here you can see 2, 1, 6, 3. 2, 1, 6, 3, okay? So you can define 6 minus 6 that equal to 0. So here del is equal to 0. So del equal to 0 means it is case 2 or case 3. You cannot define case 2 or case 3 because del is 0, here case 2. And case 3, del is also 0. So here you cannot define it applies case 2 or case 3. Next, we have to find del x. Here del x. Del x means we have to delete the x expression. So here 8, 4, 1, 3. 24 minus 4, that equal to 20, which is not equal to 0. So del x is not equal to 0. So you can see in case 3, del is 0, and at least one of them is non 0. So here, non 0. So it has, we cannot define the other expression del y because it does not depend on del y, it is 0 or not 0. In this two expression, we will find it has no solution. Okay? So it has no solution, or you can say no solution. No solution, zero solution, or inconsistent. You can say inconsistent. Okay? Next. We we'll take another example. Example number four. Find the number of solution of x plus y minus z is equal to zero. X minus two y plus z is equal to zero. And the third value, third line is c three x plus six y minus five z. So here we have to find the number of solution of this system. As you see, all these constants are zero. So which category is? So it is a homogeneous category. Okay. So you have to find only del. So here we have to find the value of del. So here 1, 1, minus 1. And the second expression 1, minus 2, 1. 3, 6, minus 5. If we expanding, so here we are expanding along R1. As you know, this is the sign of plus minus plus. So here, 1 into 10 minus 6, minus 1 into, if you delete the rows and column of these elements, so we get minus 5, minus 3, <coughs> minus 1 of 6, minus of minus 6, that is plus 6, okay? So here 10 minus 6, that is 4, and 4 into 1, so 4, minus 8 into minus 1, plus 8, and that is 12 into minus 1, that is 12. So you can see here, del is 0. So, in homogeneous category, if del is equal to 0, then this system will have infinite number of solutions. So, it has infinite number of solutions. Okay, now take another examples. Suppose find the number of solution of x plus 2y is equal to 1 and 3x minus y is equal to 0. So first we have to check it is a non-homogeneous or a homogeneous. Here all the constant are 
non zero but here only one expression is zero but another is non zero so it is a category of non homogeneous homogeneous means all are zero all the constant part are zero so it is homogeneous but here you can see it is a non homogeneous category so here first we have to find the value of del so here del is 1 2 3 -1 if we expand them that is minus 1 minus 6 that is minus 7 which is not equal to 0 so we cannot define the another value that is del x del y because if del is not equal to 0 then the system has been solved another two cases you have to find the value of del equal to 0 here del equal to 0 then you can define the another term or another expression del x del y and tell it but here if del is not equal to 0 that means the answer is solution so so this system has give it solution that means you can say one solution so these are the properties of ramasol in this property you can apply how to find the number of solution of a system or of a linear sign of linear have a nice day